Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Okami. Last time we started poking around this plagued Cyan City, and we met a sword collector who blocked the bridge to the aristocrat quarters until we went fishing with him and caught a sword. Fish. Also, there's the big green tornado. So, you know... The city's not doing great. I thought this mist was coming from the lake or mountains. So what's the stuff rising from the Imperial Palace? Yeah. So there are a lot of rumors going on about the queen. And she sure hasn't stepped foot outside to, to do anything about this plague. And Waka's back. What took you so long, Moshali? Can't fool us. We're not gonna forget what you did to us back in Orochi's cave. Yeah, that's, that's a hard one to run back, huh? Why do you keep popping up wherever we are? He seems pissed. Excuse moi, but I have no time to follow you all around. You see, I'm busy looking for something. Yeah, his his prophecies continue to get worse. Eason is right about that. I already know where it is. Getting there is proving to be a bit of a problem. Suffice it to say, I want it quick and easy. Don't tell me you're behind this funky miss. Yeah, yeah, Waka, are you the real villain? The world? No. No, no, no. I seek the other world. I desire a path to the heavens. I think he's being literal, Eason. This path concerns you too. No, bad Waka. Especially the ghastly mist that torments its people. This monkey mist and your so-called path to the heavens? You're in cahoots with Queen Himiko. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving Eason's based automatic distrust of Himiko. <laughs> a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Oh, I always like that, that, um, that saying. So just take it step by step. We must first deal with this mess. Slowly but surely killing the people of this city. Yeah, we've seen. Way too long, and it's au revoir. The damage will already be done. Why are you talking about it like it's someone else's problem? Yeah, I don't think you're going to get him to fess up, Eason. What good would come out of arguing about it here? Methinks you should be doing something about this mist now. How about a tip this time instead of a prophecy? Go through the hole in the wall, little ones. Surprisingly practical advice. We don't know what wall. Even the most solid defense is a tiny gap like the eye of a needle. Or something like that. But it's highlighted in red, so you know you should remember that. Maybe. This poisonous mist is quite dangerous. Yeah, poisonous mist tends to be way too long and is au revoir. Okay, damage has already been done. Yeah, okay. We're just repeating this now. Cool. You can you can stop. Oh, no. Oh, we can skip. Right. Right, right, right. Good. Great. We have a lot of talking to do today. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder how much longer it'll be before it's my turn. This horrible choking mist is driving me crazy. I'm lucky if I can get any work done at all lately. Again, are we noticing this recurring pattern? They're all worried about their productivity, how this is going to affect their work, their ability to work. I have to come and see Rao at least once a day to say to stay sane. Rao, Rao, fight the power. That was maybe the worst one of those I've ever done. 
Rao is the head of Onkoku Temple outside the city, but she's come all the way here to help us. She always makes the effort to come when we need her. And she's extraordinarily beautiful too. Cool. We need to deal with this mist. I came to listen to Rao's sermon again today. My old back's been terrible since that weird mist came along. So Rao is helping these people via sermon? And that's never a good sign. Uh, Rao's been head of Onkoku Temple for as long as I can remember. She's so lucky, always looking so beautiful and young. Hmm. This is the lecture hall where the regent, Miss Rao, gives her sermons. She bestows guidance on people who have lost their way. Don't worry, Mutt, Miss Rao doesn't discriminate. You'll get your turn if you go to the end of the line and wait. Even dogs are coming to hear Miss Rao. Yep. Nah, I'm gonna go ahead and in. I'm gonna let myself in. That is an awful lot of scrolls and treasure that now belongs to me. And over here too. And they even kindly put uh, an origin mirror here. Just in case your game should happen to crash or something. Who'd have thought there'd be a wolf in here of all places? The world is in turmoil. Have you come to listen to one of my sermons, Wolf? Then allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rao. God, she's even a titty monster in the portrait, I just noticed. Christ! <laughs> I'm the Regent of Sand City, appointed by Queen Himiko herself. So she is the Queen's Regent. God, the physics on them. <laughs> God damn, Ethan. I, I forgot that they actually get kind of blunt about it. Oh, that caught me off guard. It only looks like I'm staring. Oh, wow. It only looks like I'm staring at your melons. Yeah, anyway, about the funky miss. There's talk of a water dragon or something. It never ceases to, to make me laugh a little bit. To step back and think about the absurdity of how bad this city is getting. Just run roughshod over. By forces way beyond their control. So, what's up with the queen holding herself up in this place? Up, up in the palace. Uh, the people of her city are dropping like flies, you know? How can she be so lazy at a time like this? So you've sensed the evil forces over Ryoshima too, then? I heard that dreaded Orochi was resurrected in Shinshu Field. Though a brave swordsman vanquished him again. Yeah, no talk of his cool dog. The ripples of those waves of chaos are, reach are reaching Ryoshima too. The water dragon terrorizes the sea in an ill mist cover Seon. And in these last few days, the situation is intensified. I don't know what's happening to our peaceful Nippon. We could have just kept that conversation going. She said something about waves of chaos growing stronger recently. Creepy Shadow did scurry off when we defeated Orochi. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably that. Wonder if whatever it was took root here on Ryoshima Coast. Well, this will no doubt come as quite a shock, but the Great Slayer of the Dreaded Orochi is right before your eyes. I'm glad Ethan's here to set the record straight. Massage my pride a little bit. Behold the Great Amaterasu. I heard it was a swordsman called Susano. He may have dealt the final blow, but Emmy here did most of the work. And if you don't believe me, Amy's going to show you some divine powers right here, right now. <laughs> I 
if the chests were still there, I would show her divine powers by slashing them open to steal her stuff. Uh, so I'm not sure if this one matters, but is there anything to set on fire? Yeah, it's coming up right here. Oh no, this is just another ignition source. There's a lot of paper in this room to n for nothing to be flammable. There we go. A lot of asbestos scrolls in here. Maybe this wolf could help me with my quest. Jesus Christ! <laughs> now that I've lost my prayer slips, this situation is completely hopeless. I have many favors I want to ask now that I've seen your powers, but without my prayer slips, there's nothing anyone can do. So, we need to find our prayer slips. And also investigate the rest of this room. Can't read any of this, but it sure looks impressive. And nothing else in here. So we are going to head out back. Oh, right. I was expecting, um... Kamuso to be here. Well, I hope I got his name right. But I haven't been doing his quest, so he, is, he doesn't show up here yet. So, we are Queen Himiko's bodyguard. She's in her palace at the moment. I'm under orders not to let anyone disturb her. I take orders seriously. I mean, you too. So, can't get in the front. Oh, right, I come here first. Yeah, the, the stink lines are just fuming out of this portal, attracting our gaze. It's gotta be real bad for Amy being a wolf. Oh, what's that we see on the right side? I'm gonna ask you something. What's your opinion of His Highness? What do you mean? Surely you're not doubting the worth of our honorable emperor. Surely? Surely not? Surely nobody would do that? Surely he's had to take his bed <laughs> to his bed because of this strange illness, but I'm full of hope that I'll soon make a speedy recovery. And I am too, of course. But there's something about this strange, his strange illness that bothers me. That swirling mist is a little out of the ordinary, don't you think? It's a whole ass tornado! The moment the Emperor took ill, it started to come from his room. And then before we knew it, it had taken over the whole city. People were really starting to suffer from it too. Don't you think it's all a bit of a coincidence? It's definitely odd. No use trying to ask His Highness how he feels, he just sends everyone away and won't even see a doctor. So I don't see that there's anything we can do about it. What about that girl locked up in the cell all alone? Hmm? She shouldn't be locked up like that, she's done nothing wrong. You mean that girl called Kaguya, right? Orders are orders, so we had no choice but to lock her up. But I can't quite see why His Highness wanted us to do it. The city's in a real mess ever since he took ill like this. I wonder what's going on inside the palace. Indeed, let me in. Hello, let me in. What are you doing here at the Emperor's Palace? Well, actually, yeah! Come to steal treasure from under his nose while he's ill? Yeah! No, actually, I'm not here to steal treasure. I'm here to liberate it. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> He's gonna eat me. That's so damn rude. 
Defend Emperor with our lives. Ba -ba -ba. Okay. So, what's this? Check out these slips of paper. Looks like each one has a spell or something on it. But I have no idea how to use them. Don't think they do us much good. And then there's also this smoking crater in the wall. With the mist pouring out. Too bad you're so big. Otherwise, we could have checked out this hole. And that fishy smell is probably all the mist. Oh, somebody in a previous uh, video, actually in the in the last one, commented about the design I made for the mask back in the Moon Cave dungeon, uh, being on banners here in the city. I didn't notice anything like that. However, it's interesting that that was brought up because it will come up again not too, too long uh, from now. Whoop, no, I'm going back this way. Right, 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 right. Yeah, there is a cool little recurring detail. Uh, before we before we actually finish off with the city properly. My prayer slips, you found them in this huge city? Thank you, they're indispensable in my fight against the evil beings. I was sure one of them had stolen them from me. Your ability to sniff things out really is a divine power. Your name's Amaterasu, correct, Wolf? Well, Amaterasu, would you put your powers to use for us? Yeah. Are you saying we're the answer to your prayers? And he is a god. Because of the forces of darkness. Next to them, the monsters out there in the wild are nothing. I love how how that theme comes up in the background. And starts to swallow up the entire track. With Queen Himiko confined to her palace, it all falls to me. Normally, I'd use my holy powers to dispel any threat to the city. But this foe is too strong for me. So I have no choice but to task this favor. But to ask this favor. Lend me your powers. Yeah. Isun doesn't like the idea of doing it simply because it would help Himiko. That's the kind of pettiness and spite I can get one. <laughs> There's some who think the queen is a coward to shut herself away, but she cares for her subjects. She's praying for our protection. Queen Himiko sends thoughts and prayers. <laughs> Even she can't calm the water dragon and exorcise the city. Now, without that sacred treasure to enhance her holy powers, not without, that's what I want you to help me find. Please, Amaterasu, let me ask you once again. Will you listen to what I have to ask? Is this just going to result in her repeating whatever she had to say? Anyway, yeah. When you came here to the city, did you see it? Right off the coast near the... Okay, yeah, this is all new. Sunken treasure ship, a victim of the water dragon's rampage. That ship was a trading vessel working between here and abroad. It was transporting a great treasure ordered by Queen Himiko, but the water dragon attacked every ship in the water. It sunk the ship and its precious cargo right in front of the port. The fox rods that the queen had finally managed to locate, a matchless treasure with the power to defeat any foe, would have been Sand City's, no, Nippon's greatest asset. If we had the fox rods now, we could drive out the evil beings. Fox rods is really fun to say. Amaterasu, will you come to the treasure ship with me and help me search its cargo for the fox rods? Fox rods. Absolutely. I want to search a boat for treasure. You want us to search for treasure on a sunken treasure ship? Hell yeah. I'd do anything for a keep babe, but my boss here says no, there ain't much I can do. Well, boss, we can't help this busty babe or what? Yeah. Yeah. 
What was that, Ami? Yada yada, we're a true savior. Must wait a while until the new moon rises in the night sky. In the shallows, where the ship ran aground called the Lunar Lagoon. The tide only recedes when the new moon is seen from the moon turret. When the tide's out, it's easy to get into the, into the treasure ship. We'll meet at the ship on the night of the next new moon. And just a handy little reminder of where the ship is. And with that, oh, we have some really, really fun stuff coming up. That's going to do it for now. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.